Hello, welcome to Technical Founders. My name is Carlos Lara, software engineer and entrepreneur, and in this video, we will be learning about animations in Xamarin Forms. Now, animations is another way to animate or bring to life some of the visual elements of our Xamarin Forms applications. So these could be things like buttons, images, things like that, just visual elements, classes that derive from view. And here we have just a simple page here in the Technical Founders app that has a few bu buttons for the different kinds of animations. And the basic animations in Xamarin Forms are translation, which moves it along X and Y directions, as we'll see shortly, scale animation, which increases, increases and decreases the size of a view, rotation, which rotates the view about an angle, fade animation, which fades, changes the opacity, of, of a view and you can combine them actually. So these are the, the basic animations in Xamarin Forms and again these are changes to the visual properties essentially visual properties of your Xamarin Forms view subclasses. So in this case we have the button so let's go ahead and get started. Here we have defined a few buttons in XAML and each one has an event handler so we're keeping it very simple for, for this video. So the first one right here is the handle translation for this button, the translation. So we're going to move this button in the X direction to show you. So these the, the animations are actually asynchronous. So you don't have to block the UI thread and they can all run, you can run multiple animations asynchronously and it's really, really nice. So we have our button, which is the sender for this for this event handler. And then we have, an ex we have extension methods here. We have an extension method called translate to, which is coming from the view extensions class in Xamarin Forms. And there, there are several parameters here that it takes. So we're going to move it in the X direction. So the first one is a double, which is X direction. So we want to move it 100 in the X direction. This means to the right. So X equals zero and Y equals zero would be the top left corner of our Xamarin Forms view. So we are not going to move it in the Y direction. So we'll leave that at zero. And then this one is the duration in, in milliseconds. So we, we will want this one to run for half a second. And then the, the last parameter is an, e is an easing function. Easing here is a class and it contains, it looks like an enumer enumeration. So it contains several values here. And this is basically how you want the, the, um, the animation or the progress of the animation to, to look like. So by default, it's linear, but it can also spring in. So, so the motion will look like it's springing in or springing out. Cubic is it's kind of fast in or fast out. So just it's just kind of the speed and how the view moves during the animation. So for this one, we'll do a spring out. So this will move it move it in the x direction to the right. Now we want to move it back as well. We want to show some motion so you see how these move. So we're going to do another await. Same sender here our button and then again translate to. And this time we're going to do minus 100. So we're going to, we're, we are going to go from the right back to the left. And then actually we want to center it after that. So again, we're moving in, in the Y direction, 500 milliseconds, easing, same thing, spring out here. And here you can experiment with the easings to see which one you like more, which one works best for your purpose in your application. So for the last one, button.translate2, we want to bring it back to zero and the Y still stays at zero and the other parameters will just stay by, by default. So the duration of an animation by default is 250 milliseconds and the easing is linear. So no, no variation in the speed, just, just, just the same throughout the whole animation. So let's go ahead and run this in iOS and let's see what it looks like. Here we're using our iPhone simulator. And again, we're working in our Technical Founders app. And for the source code, you can go to my GitHub Lean Manager under Technical Founders and look, look at the source code for this. So we can go to Settings, Explore Animations, and we have our buttons here. And our translation, once we click, translates to the right, left, boom, and then comes back into place. Very cool. And you can do this in the Y direction as well. So this animation will be for the translation property of our Xamarin Forms view. So let's go ahead and see it again. So very nice. And let's go ahead and stop running. And let's go ahead and do our next animation, which is scaling. This is for, for our next button, scale. And for scale here, we will do another await. And we have another extension method here coming from view extensions called scale2. And scale2 
So the first parameter is the scale, so the proportion that, of how it's going to grow. So it's 1 initially, so we're going to grow to 5. So five, 5 times bigger, we want to scale it by a factor of 5. And for the duration, let's do a full second, 100 milliseconds. And no, no easing necessarily, we don't have to do any easing for this one. It's an, it's an optional parameter. So again, we're going to, so we scale it, we, it grew, so now we're, we're going to shrink it now to 0.1. So make it really small. 500 milliseconds and this this time we're going to do an easing let me actually fix this and easing we are going to do bounce in again you can experiment with those easing uh, functions see which one you like best or which one works best for your purpose for your application and we're going to do a scale to one more time and come back to one to which is our original size and this is say take a full second 100 milliseconds and easing we will do bounce out. Again, you can experiment with these. Let's go ahead and run it and let's see what scaling, the scaling animation looks like. And this changes the scale and uh, property of this button in this case, but it works for any Xamarin forms view. Again, translation property for translation for translate to uh, animation extension method scale to for the scale property. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like coming up. So we have our translation, and let's see what a scale looks like. Whoa! Grows, shrinks, and comes back to size. Very, very cool. And you see that spring, um, but that bouncing kind of kind of motion here, here to animate it even further. So very, very cool. Scale. So next, let's look at rotation. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm going to show you Android at the end, just to see, just to show you how it all comes nicely, nicely at the end here. So for rotation, same thing. We have an extension method from View Extensions, and this one is called rotate to and we have relative rotate to and we'll use rotate to in this case and we're going to do 360 degrees which is th the first uh, parameter how many degrees you want to turn this means a full turn so it's going to come back to where it started and let's have it this time let's let it wait two full seconds so you see slowly the rotation now if you click that button again it's not going to rotate because once this rotation is over it stays at 360 degrees for that for the rotation property. So what we're going to do here is just reset the, rota uh, the rotation uh, property back to zero. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's see what the rotation animation looks like. As you can see, this is, just, this is a simple way that Xamarin, uh, for Xamarin Forms to let us animate the visual properties of our, of our views, basically of our visual elements in our applications. Even even a little bit of the uh, of this can really spice up your application and you know make make it make it nicer and more uh, friendly for your user. So we have a rotation. Mm -hmm. Look, see, and it rotates. And if you actually keep keep clicking, that rotation will slow down because it's going it's going to to cancel that animation, call the rotate two again, and pick up from where it left off. So it if it left off halfway at 180 degrees, and it's two seconds to go. It has to delay that half turn for two seconds that's why um if the animation isn't done and you click again the next one takes long it is slower to to complete and it always comes back to zero so very very nice rotation animation and the last one we're going to look at is the fade animation here so we are going to again await call our extension method here fade two and for the first parameter is, is the opacity. So it's the opacity property that this animation changes. So we are going to fade to half, 0.5 opacity, why not? Uh, one second duration for this animation. And for easing, this time we can do sign in out. Sign in, sign out, sign, fun sign in function. And we're going to, to come back to the original opacity. So we're gonna call fade to extension method again. 1, which is the default value. Again, 1 second, no reason why not. And for easing, same one. Many different options there, there for easing. So let's go ahead and run it. And of course, for our last one, we can combine all the you know different animations in one object to have, to have multiple um, animations uh, at once. So it's very flexible, very cool. And as you see, very, very simple to implement. So here we have our fade, the opacity 0.5, and then comes back. And you can experiment this, and you can run all of them at the same time if you want. They're all asynchronous, so they can all run at the same time. 
So very, very nice animations. So now let's, let's see what the combined one looks like. Let's go ahead and stop running. And to save a little bit of time, I already have them here. So let's just go ahead and see real quick what it's doing. So doing some translation, like we did before, scaling, growing and then coming back to the original size. Again, translating, coming back to the original position and then rotation. And again, coming back to, to the original position at the, at the end for, for every, everything. And then easing, again, you can experiment with those. So let's go ahead and run this one. And of course, in Xamarin Forms, you not only you can not only do these simple animations, but you can also do custom or mo much more complex animations. And as a bonus, I'll show you real real quick um, how that works, and it's very very nice actually. So as you see, translates, boom, grows, and then rotates. Very, very nice. Multiple animations at once, just async, running one after the other. And since they're asynchronous, we can just run all of them at the, you know, a different at the same time. And it's very, very, very cool. So very nice animations in Xamarin Forms. Now for a bonus, I'm going to show you how to do custom animations in Xamarin Forms. Now for this, we need um, a NuGet package here that I've already added, which is called uh, Lottie. And this is this was created by Airbnb. This is a native um, native library for very nice animations, very uh, custom After Effects animations. And Airbnb created it. And Martin MVP, f very famous and for his work on MVVM Cross, I highly recommend him. Check him out. He actually created the bindings for Xamarin and for Xamarin Forms here for Lottie, which Airbnb created. So he, we can just uh, from NuGet bring in the Xamarin Forms. A NuGet package here, and then we can bring it in into each one of our um, platform-specific projects. And here, and all you need to do is just just go to the app delegate here and just do animation view renderer dot init. So just initialize this animation view renderer. And same thing with Android. You go to your main activity, and again after forms init, you here you initialize your animation view renderer. And actually, you can check out the Xamarin Show video, um, which is called Lottie Animations, Lottie and Xamarin Forms. And you feel free to check it out on YouTube. Very, very nice for more detail on how, how all this works. So I already have it here. I've commented out. So I'm going to uncomment it. And of course, we need to bring in the namespace, which I already did, Lottie, CLR namespace, Lottie.forms. So we have our namespace. And here, or it has some some very nice properties. Even some that I that I've actually commented here, commented out here. So it has an animation property, which and by the way, this has a bunch of bindable properties. So you can do MVVM with this. But for this video, we're not doing MVVM. We're just doing it uh, like this in the in the code behind. But here for the animation property, you just need to set it to a JSON file. And these JSON files, you can download them from here from LottieFiles.com. These and graphic designers have created all these animations um, that you can use here. You can download the JSON file, bring it into your Xamarin Forms projects, and you, as you can see, you have many different animations, 84 pages here for the popular ones. So you can just play around and see which one um, you like. So very, very nice. Here on iOS, I already brought it in here to um, um, to our resources. Here I have my new animation.json, and same thing with Android. Here I brought I brought it into the assets here new animation.json. So here you can in your um, XAML file in the animation, you just directly um, set it to that to that value of that JSON file for that animation. And loop is true means it's the animation will play and keep and keep playing whenever it's initialized, instantiated. Autoplay means it's going to play start playing by itself without any in manual input, and this is just some hide and with request so it actually appears in our in our application. And there's other things that we have here, like an unfinished event handler when the animation finishes, playback started command, playback finished command, again commands for doing MVVM, and you see the binding here, and again a, a clicked command. So very very nice. So again, right now we'll just focus on these simple um, properties here, just to show you the the, the animation, um, what it looks like, and let's go ahead and run it. And again, these animations are beautiful, as you saw here, and you can just bring them in very, very easily into your Xamarin Forms application and really bring to life and really animate a lot of your pages and make it make it very beautiful and very enjoyable for your users. And it's just fun too to do, actually. So here we go, connecting the simulator.
And as you can see, very nice to grab the present box animation. You see, very, very beautiful. You didn't have to do anything. You didn't create this animation. You just bring in the, the Lottie, the forms, a uh, nougat package, and through your until all your projects. And here you get your very, very nice animation. And here, I also I also show you Android what it looks like. So you see, very nice. These, these animations still work, asynchronous, same thing as before, and with your animation running. Very, very cool animations in Xamarin Forms. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, please leave them below, and I'll see you next time.